Hi everybody and welcome back. It is Thursday, so we all know what that means. It's way day. However, today I am also taking a look back at the whole of August because I've done a month's worth of calorie counting now and I think it's great to look back and see what was good, what was not so good and all of those things basically. Now before I start, I'm making a small change to my channel. I won't be uploading on a Sunday. Sundays for some reason are just not paying off for me. So what I'm going to do is load Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So still three times a week. So there's still plenty there for you to go out. I'm just dropping the Sunday one. Now, as you know, I do not um, promote my channel on my Instagram or on my Facebook. So you really do need to set your notifications because it's the only way you're going to get notified of a video. OK, that I have loaded and you don't want to miss this great content. What I've got is a book. So if I'm looking down at any time, forgive me, because, you know, my brain at the minute, minute is not working as well as it could do. So <laughs> just bear with me. So this month, how on earth have I got on? How do I feel? How is things going? Well, as you know, I've had quite a rocky month, especially with hormones. So I think that anything that I have done, I, I'm just going to take it as a win, to be quite honest. And what I'm going to do is give you four weeks of weigh-ins. And I think for me, looking at your weight loss over a month is a much better way of doing it. Weekly weigh-ins can absolutely destroy you because one week you may have a massive loss like at the end of July, the 30th of July, I lost two pound. I was like, whoa, where did that come from? I've not lost that again. That You see, and this is the thing now, I haven't included that weight loss in this one because I just want to work on a four week cycle. So it's just four weeks of how I've got on. So how did I get on? Well, the first week of that, I gained half a pound. And this is where I started to really struggle with my hormones. So I gained half a pound in the first week. Then I lost half a pound the week after, half a pound the week after. And today, you guessed it, I lost half a pound. <laughs> so in those four weeks, I have lost, what, one and a half pound? Let me just check my maths. Yeah, I've lost one and a half pound. Let me put that back. So one and a half pound okay now some of you are gonna go that, that, that's not great at all you know that's not really good and it maybe you would feel if you had only lost half one and a half pound in the month you'd be quite disappointed but you have to be realistic about these things half a pound a week is absolutely perfect it is a sustainable weight loss and it is great okay so if you are losing two pound in a month which is my target to lose two pound a month then you know, I, I'm super happy with that. I really am really OK with it because let's face it, two pound a month is 24 pound in a year. And that is quite a lot. You can't lose weight every week. So I think setting a target for me at that half a pound loss per week is great. And obviously, with the way my hormones have been at the minute. I, I am absolutely over the moon with that, to be quite honest. And I actually think that calorie counting has helped me stay focused. I do think that if I'd have stopped with Slimming World and just con just concentrated solely on Slimming World and Sins, I wouldn't have got that one and a half pound loss and I wouldn't have been as focused because I know at weekends I have been like last weekend gone, we went out for a meal on Friday night. I was completely off plan. And then on Saturday, I wasn't 100% off plan. But because I tracked my calories, what I was able to do was balance that week out. So in a week, I had, you know, X amount of calories to use. Now, bearing this in mind, every single day I am down 500 calories in deficit. So every day I take off 500 calories, which is what the TDE calculator did for me. So, you know, even if I go above my daily calories, I've still got that comfort zone of that extra 500 calories. So in a week, 500 times seven, I have got a comfort blanket of three and a half thousand calories. Now, if I get it horribly wrong and, you know, go way over my calories and, you know, go out for a couple of nights, I may end, you could potentially end up using those sort of comfort blanket calories, those, you know, those bolster calories that you've kept to one side. What that would actually mean is that you would just maintain 
you just go back up to maintenance calories. So that is why I like calorie count because I've been able to adjust that, you know, the overspend, if you like, on calories that I had on Friday and Saturday. I've been able to reduce my bank draft, if you want, overdraft or whatever you want to call it, by taking you know, reducing some of the calories through the week. So if you look at it as a bank account of paying and go slightly over, you've got to pay it back. That's what, that's how I've managed to do it this month. And it's really helped me focus. But as I say, you've always got that three and a half thousand calories stuffed away in your bank if things go horribly, horribly wrong. And I think with Slim and World, um, that sort of um, comfort blanket isn't really there. Um, I know you get sins and you, as you know, I used to track mine sort of weekly and it does work for me, but I really think that calorie counting has dug me out of it this month. And um, especially with my hormones, I think to be quite honest, a pound and a half is actually quite good from where I've been. Um, so I am actually chuffed to bits. Now, what am I going to do for September? Am I going to go back to Slimming World or am I going to stay with calorie counting? I'm actually going to stay with them both. So I will be following the Slimming World plan as before. So one healthy extra A, two, sorry, two healthy extra A's, one healthy extra B. They are not called that on calorie counting. It's just two bits of cheese and milk, whatever and bread or whatever cereal, okay? So that I just follow that rule, if you like. So it means that I'm not extra eating extra bread or extra cereals and things like that. So I'm gonna stay with it through September. I, I really feel like it's helped me this month. It You know, it really has sharpened my mind. It's honed me in and it's really sort of made me look at, you know, what I'm eating. I This month, I, it doesn't maybe feel like it if you if you see my Instagram page, but I feel like I've ate so much more fruit this this month, and I have actually ate a lot more vegetables, which is what I did last week. I've really bumped my vegetables up as well, so that has obviously helped because they're just full of fibre, aren't they? So yeah, that's all good. So I've had I feel like I've had a good month. I'm going to continue with the way I am. I promised myself last week that I would start exercising um, on Monday. Did I do it? Of course I did it. Yeah, I did. 20 minutes on the trampoline on Monday and on Wednesday I went for a 45 minute walk around the park. So I've done two sets. I've got one more set to do this week because it's three sets per week of timed exercise. So I've got one more set to do. Um, and that'll be on Friday. So um, how do I feel about it? I hurt all over. My muscles are killing me. I'm tired and all of those things that you feel when you go back. But I feel so much better within myself for doing it. So I'm really pleased I have just done that and got that out the way because once you do it, once you take that first step, it's you think, well, what, what have I been doing? Why am I so put this, you know, why have I put it in the background all of a sudden? If you are struggling with exercise, just make that effort to go for that first one. Whatever it is, a gym, a dog walk or whatever, just make the effort to do it because you'll feel so much better for it. So that is how I'm feeling. We go on holiday on Sunday. So I'm going to upload some things to my channel, which will just be scheduled in. So keep your eyes out. Things will still carry on as normal for you. And really, that is about it for my week, I think. I think, you know, I've been I've been OK. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be off plan from Sunday and it's going to be again when I come back. But whatever, you know, I'm on holiday and, you know, and especially with everything that has been going on in the world at the moment, you know, holidays have become a really precious thing because obviously we're not going abroad Um some of, I mean, I, I get to see my mum this weekend for the first time since lockdown, you know, and, and that that's, you know, that's been hitting me hard because I haven't been able to see my family. So this weekend I get to see my parents and I cannot wait to do that. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So it's been lots of positives this month. I think the only downside of it is the havoc that my hormones have wreaked. But we, we're on some tablets, so fingers crossed. That all works out and we get back to me feeling normal again, which I hope will happen pretty soon, to be quite honest. But <laughs> you never know. So that is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to set your notifications because, as I say, I am not promoting my channel anywhere else. So the only way you will get to know I've posted is if you get a little message saying Jules has posted. And, you know, you don't want to miss any of that content, that's for sure. I mean, you know, you definitely don't. <laughs> anyway, have a great 
few days and I will catch up with you. Next upload will be Saturday and then we're back to Tuesday. I do have an Asda haul for you. I don't know if I can get it edited in time. If I can, I will post it up probably on Thursday next week and it's a good one as well. There's some really good stuff in there, but I'll try and get it done for you. Have a great day. Bye.